This video is going to be about the different organ systems, the energies, um, constructive, destructive, and neutral, you know, creation, destruction, and maintenance. Again, Prince Paul Marcos with the Out of Body Journal. And it's, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, presentation. So in the traditional Chinese medicine, um, you know, there's the yin and the yang, and also in the in the Chinese ph philosophy about energy, there's a every two hours there is a different organ that predominates. See, right now it's eleven eleven forty nine p.m. where I am, so it's the uh, the gallbladder and the, uh, the gallbladder is predominant right now. So here's another picture where we can see that the gallbladder is associated with wood and at midnight. So every two hours, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., wherever you are, it's um, relevant to where you are. So just like the yin and the yang, the symbol is um, each, the maximum has the, the other aspect in it. So what's going to be different about this, what I'm saying here today, is that just as in trading, there's a, there's a high and a low, there's a peak and a, lo and a low. So um, you can use these to your advantage, uh, but also know that other people are using them to their advantage. And if, if there is a, just as in a survivalistic, involutionary pathway, there is a there's a there's a warring faction, and then there's also a um, an evolution of awareness faction. So there's two different things. There's one constructive and the other's destructive, and there are different people operating on these different these di different um, cycles or wave. You know, in general, overall, different people are fighting all the time, and other people are trying to raise everybody up and celebrate and. So in this, in the Chinese system, there's an antagonistic um, relationship between the organs also. Just as there's a constructive, fire nourishes earth to metal to water to wood to, you know, back to fire. There's a, um, and there's a, there's, there's a, constru a constructive pathway, but there's also a destructive. You can go in reverse also. So if you wanted to... Uh, if you wanted to injure somebody, you might use, depending on the time of the day, um, you would go in reverse. So if if someone attacked you at a certain time of day, you could predict uh, when they might have the energy to attack you again based on these cycles, just by going in reverse. Okay, so I'll continue. This this is also seen in the markets. If someone's going to, like a bear, if someone's going to crash the market, you might expect them to do it 12 hours later, or you might expect them to, to do it at your next most vulnerable period. And you can see that by when, what time of the day they attacked you, and then you can look back uh, when you would be most vulnerable next time. And you can also see when these attacks occur, and you can see what organ is predominant in the in the person who's doing the attacking. And then there are also the other side. You can look at what side are they are are people celebrating? What time of the day? And is there a pattern? Is it repetitious? If you want to predict, it, you can predict. See people who are who are in the who don't see anything but the physical. Then, then it's all a, a linear progression. Whereas, if you are tapping into the, the the more joyful aspects of life, then you're unpredictable. But as long as you're living in the biological realm, the level of, of biology, and that's the um, that's the confines of your movement, then it'll be more of a linear or progression. Of, of movements and reactions. So this can, um, if you search 
uh, Chinese organ cycle and antagonism, uh, there's there's constructive and also de destructive uh, pathways. And you can go into more of these, and I thought I would uh, look into these more myself um, many years ago, over 10 years ago, I, I did some of this stuff, and I learned about a bunch of it. And uh, see, this controls this, which controls this. So these are these are influences. And uh, if you are in the stock market or you join trading, then you can look at these influences and see where you're vulnerable and where someone could attack you, and at what time of the day they might tank the market. See, if you go circular, that's kind of con constructive, linear. Con but then there's also this controls that, and if someone takes out this at that time of day, there are other graphs where they show the times of the day. Let me see. See, this one shows the times of the day again, and so does that one. So that's, and the next, the next thing about that is, are you, here's a website where they talk more about the different, the Chinese clock, body clock. So the next progression beyond that is your personal life. Are you being a, a good person all day? Or do you have another, do you, is there just one face you give to the world and that you live your life through? Or are, do you have two sides to yourself? Uh, during the day, are you a princess all the time? Or are you a prince all the time? This is a funny thing. You know, prince is a cool guy. But also the, the, the idea of a prince. Are you a prince all the time? Are you always trying to do that? A princess? Prince? Or uh, are you also a ninja or a warrior during the nighttime? The yin and the yang. It's it's important to have both capabilities so that you can you can protect yourself in the survivalistic times and you can celebrate to the most in the in the great times. And it's good to have an overall uh, personal preference, but it's also important to be able to have both aspects and um, simultaneously in a day's period, in a 24-hour period, to cultivate both aspects. The warrior and the, um, and the good person. All right, Prince Paul Michaels with the Out-of-Body Journal.